The murder of an elderly man captured on Facebook Live has renewed the debate over the role of social media in fueling disturbing acts and whether Facebook, YouTube, and other companies are failing to combat violent content. A word of warning that some viewers may find some of this content upsetting. Somebody about to kill. We may never understand what led Steve Stevens to randomly target and kill 74-year-old Robert Godwin. Can you say Joy Lane? But we do know he wanted the world to see it. How old are you? The video is too graphic to show in its entirety, but it was freely available on Facebook Live. The Cleveland murder suspect's video was up for more than two hours before Facebook shut it down. The storm of criticism prompted Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg to promise action. Uh, we have a lot of work and we will keep doing all we can uh, to prevent tragedies like this from happening. The problem for Facebook is that we've been here before. <laughs> Earlier this year, two Chicago teens and their girlfriends were charged with physically abusing a disabled person while seemingly playing to their audience on Facebook Live. The company in a statement says they have a team dedicated on call 24-7 to respond to cases like this one. But some activists have defended Facebook, calling it a powerful platform to provide witness to abuses of power. We got pulled over for a busted tail light. Last summer, Diamond Reynolds went on Facebook Live just after a police officer shot her boyfriend, Philando Castile. He died soon after. I wanted to put it on Facebook and go viral so that the people could see. So that the people could see. I wanted the people to determine who was right and who was wrong. It's unlikely Facebook ever intended, though, to be judge and jury. I actually have some sympathy with Facebook on this one. I mean, whoever could have imagined that somebody's going to use a tool like this for that. Also, the fact that it was only up for two hours. I mean, I'm sure somebody called it to their attention. I wouldn't even know how to call something to Facebook's attention. How do you get in touch with a whole mark? Oh, there's <laughs> a thing yeah. you can click on, yeah. report this. Right. Okay, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. So it was up for a fairly short amount of time. And I'm sure you remember an incident. Oh, my gosh, it had to be 20 years ago. There was a live press conference somewhere in Pennsylvania <laughs> yeah. where some comptroller or something pulled out a gun and shot himself. Well, that was unintentional. Just It was a live camera. But so you can't control every single thing. Live is, is, is what happens. You You're know? so right. And that, I was going to bring up that example. He pulled it out the, yeah. the manila envelope, yeah. right, yeah. And, and did it in front of everyone. What's interesting is I remember when Facebook Live first came out and I told my wife about it and she said, you know, I don't like that. Someone's going to off themselves or kill mm. somebody on live Facebook. You know, she said this even before mm. we saw any of these incidences. But you're right. I mean, people who want to get attention will use whatever medium is available to them. And you can't say, you know, Facebook is bad just because something tragic happened. Not only has, has you know, that particular case where someone, um, you know, committed suicide, but also we have that reporter who was shot and killed oh, yeah. uh, on live television. Yeah, right. So this has been going on since the beginning of time, since technology has made it possible for us to see these kinds of things. This is yet another tool that can be used, uh, tragically it was used this way, but I don't know that we can necessarily blame or Facebook for this. Or, right, home. exactly. You know, I don't blame Facebook, but I am wondering whether this is a road that they want to continue going down because I don't really see any way of preventing this from happening over and over. Uh, Dan mentioned, I think, the case of the two news people in Virginia mm -hmm. uh, who were killed uh, in 2015. Mm -hmm. Now, Facebook had not unveiled Facebook Live at that point, so the, the shooter in that case used one of the other tools that was available at that time. Uh, but Facebook is just so much bigger than anything else that, that people are attracted to it in a way that they weren't to these other social mm -hmm. media sure. platforms. Um, I, you know, and, uh, as I said, I don't blame Facebook, but I think that they may have to shut it down. I mean, I just think this is going to keep happening. Yeah. You know, on the other hand, you do have the, the Castile shooting that, mm. that I thought was obviously had a socially redeemable, yes. I yes. mean, show what happened to this poor guy sitting in his car going for his wallet. So there's all these other live things that do mm. have a, a, a purpose. So I, I'm not sure on this. I mean, people are always going to abuse stuff. They're always going to put weird yeah. stuff yeah. up. And I, I guess the question is, you know, why do people want to watch this, but um, I'm torn because there's a lot of good mm -hmm. that can come out of uh, live I, broadcasting. But uh, I, if, you, if that's the equation and I, that the, the point about, yes, uh, there are instances where having something uh, video that shows wrongdoing, but 
uh, that doesn't have to be done live. You could have done that video yeah. and then turned it over yeah. to someone else, a news organization, and it would have come out. I think um, what Facebook can do, Dan, you're right. I think they should shut this down. Really? They, unless yeah. I absolutely well, then you'd have to think shut down Periscope down. and. Yeah, and, and meerkat, all those things. Any any way where there's absolutely yeah. no filter because this is too strong. Well, what about I live think, TV? Uh, attempt to, well, in How live, sure on live TV, that's just press conversation. Should we shut that down? But, <laughs> but what what you had there was in the case of the Virginia case and in other cases the suicide case. Yeah, that that may periodically happen, but they're not going to re-show that for the purposes of, of I mean, literally, or what? How many millions and millions of people right. will see it without any filter at all? All. That's going to happen. That's going to be the outlier. It's going to be extremely rare. But I think you're going to have copycats on this by by the dozens. By the way, if it, fa Facebook doesn't address it. Not to be technical, but it wasn't live. Uh, he right. taped it. it was. He posted right. it. But it so could have been. I know. It very well you could have been. But look, at, I don't know what the number is for the the amount of Facebook live reports or how, whatever you mm. call them. Uh, you know, <laughs> this is this is only one or a handful of things. Millions. Yes, they're tragic, and I don't want to take anything away from that. Tragedy, certainly. But there are probably millions of these Facebook live events that are taking place that are either just funny, goofy, or informative, you know? And I don't, I would never go to the extreme of shunning it down. Now, if there is some, you know, you keep it up for more than two hours or even longer than that, and you're allowing this stuff to stay up on Facebook, then I think there's a problem there. But shutting it down, I don't agree with You can upload it to Facebook, and that's a minor speed bump, but I think that you don't get quite as much of this sociopathic behavior when you do that. <laughs> yeah, you need All a right. filter.